that it raw. This is my jewelry drawer. Let me close this. Yeah, that was what was showing. Hello, my darling from nation. <laughs> How are you? How are we? Let's get right into it. Two Face put a post onto his Instagram. I think he's deleted it where he was declaring all kinds of love to his wife, Annie Idibia. Women like you are rare. I love you, only you, this, that, and the other thing. Please forgive me. I am so sorry to my manager. I'm so sorry to my mom. I've been a shitty dad, baby daddy, as well as father. People were like, what has happened? I sat back and I said to myself, what are you talking about? What has happened? You already know that he's playing around with somebody else before we could even say whoop to do it came to light has come to light allegedly that two-face is expecting an eighth child by a close family friend who happens to be a banker and she's not negotiating she is keeping this belay hot and she's going to give birth you would think madame do you not know that two-face is married do you not know that he has other children, baby mamas? Why would you put yourself in that uncompromising position? She would say to herself, I'm a banker, I'm single, I've been out here in these streets. Let me come and get my own bag, as well as the baby, as well as the nannies. I'm good for 18 years. I kind of, you know what, I hear where she's coming from. Is it unethical, as in girl code? Yes, but who is she loyal to? Annie, absolutely not. Here's my thing, two faced, two baba. If you cannot be exclusive with one person, don't lie to them. Be like Puff Daddy, who loves all of his children. He gets along with all the baby mamas. He didn't marry a single one of them, and he has kept it as so. Keep it as so. There's no need to marry Annie. There's no need to come onto the show, young, famous, and African, young, rich, and African, whichever one, and then be declaring all of this sweet, sweet, when you know right there and then, you just might have an eye for one of the girls at the wedding party. You, I do not trust. You, I can expect it for. That's my bone of contention with you. Other than that, you're good to go. You are good to go. Because further down, when you're older, and when you agree, you slow down, the kids have all grown up, then you will have to deal with them and explain to them why you were not there when you should have been there, why you made their mothers cry. You will have to do all of that because it, will, it really will come back to you. Money does not make a home. Does it make things easier? Absolutely. But children don't know that. They don't know the price of anything. They just, I want this, I this, this. Where's mommy? Where's daddy? I have a kid at home. I know. All they want is love and attention and time with you because for them, you are their hero. You running around all these streets with no protection and then you go back and sleep with Annie is cruel, it's insensitive, it's careless. You don't love her, you couldn't love her because if you did, you would protect her. This is not a way of protecting her heart. This is not a way of protecting her health. You are very selfish. You are very inconsiderate. Apart from the fact that you're reckless, yes. I'm talking like a big sister. I know somebody might send it to you and say, who is she? I am telling you here and now. Two-Face, this is not the way to go. Not even for the children to be having half brothers and sisters all over the place. You can have a blended family. I can understand that. But here you, you don't care. And we all know it's not as if to say that you went to this banker. <laughs> a bank of all people. You know she was cashing in. <laughs> you went to a banker nights nights, scenarios, I can imagine, because you love the life. You love to live your best life. So you had made love with her plenty of time, sharing her bed. And here's the thing, guys, I tell you. Oh, you know what? This is so bad. Oh, you know what? It wasn't that. You start cheating when you start thinking of the other person. When you start sliding back and you're texting. When you go into the bathroom and you return a call. On your way there. You're lying. You're lying to another human being who is being honest with you. Would you like it? How would you feel if Annie had another man? If Annie was sleeping around? Because I think it has to be done to you for you to know how it feels. Having said that, 
I don't blame you. Annie is your doormat. She behaves like a doormat. She's at the door. She's a mat that you continue stepping on left, right, and center. You rub your dirty shoes on her on your way in and on your way out. She's your doormat. And you don't care to even think of how she feels and how people regard her in society because you can't keep your banana in your pants. You just can't do it. Every woman that you see, you've got to jump in between the sheets with no protection. There's monkeypox. I just read the other day that dogs can even have monkeypox. <laughs> COVID. And you are jumping in and out. We just had COVID. So you had to be with this woman for a hot minute. It is disgraceful. Uh, come to me, face me, face to face. No, we're not doing any of that. You're just showing us that this is exactly what we expected of you and you hold the badge to holding our expectations of you true. I love this slip. I forgot to tell you. Very fabulous. It is Maybelline. Maybelline, I think my sister bought me this. Very fabulous. And it is number 45, Escapist. <laughs> to Baba did not escape. He did it. And then I'm using the surprise. It was a surprise on Annie. <laughs> Escapist and surprise. This is the lippy I'm wearing. I'm not wearing any eye makeup for now. I just like, you know, doing pops of color. So that's all I have to say for you too, Baba. You're a hot mess. On the flip side, congratulations. Are we having a boy? Are we having a girl? Are we having a baby shower? Are you going to do the pictures? Who's invited? You're a hot mess. Are you going to sing another song for this baby mama? Are you friends with the baby mama? Are you still in touch with the baby mama? Are you on good terms with baby mama? We have every right to ask these questions because you brought it to us. You want us to settle the matter. I'm trying to settle the matter for you. I don't trust you, Two Face. You're gonna have baby number nine. You're gonna have a football team. Then you're going to go and stretch for 24. As a matter of fact, come to think of it, you and Nick Cannon are gunning for the most babies that you can have in a lifetime. Why? When you're not even spending time, like you said, shitty dad, with the ones that you already have. You have to go. Go in peace, my little brother, and find your way. May the Lord be with you. Annie, pack your bags, mama. Pack your bags. I read that even two Baba's family doesn't like you. They're rude, they're cheeky, they're disrespectful. On top of him being disrespectful to you, here you were crying at the young, famous, and African. You renewed your vows. I even almost believed it. I swear I did. Heart mess. Tubaba does not love you. He likes the idea of you. You take care of his kids. Tubaba has eight children. And Annie, you have number five and number six, respectively, in the baby chain. So he has kids before you, he's had kids after you, he's having kids during you, and you're still there. I told him, you're a doormat. You're not a queen. A queen doesn't behave like this. Absolutely not! You would have said to Baba, let's co-parent, but I'm out of here. I feel sad for you because I find this to be true. Women that get married very early on, because apparently you were in your teens when you knew to Baba, you don't know any other man. You have not experienced another relationship with a man. He is all you know. And because of that, you're in a prison that you don't want to get out of because you don't know how to handle the real world. You don't know how to handle another man. It's not that scary, sis. Trust me when I tell you, this right here is a hard smoking mess, but it starts with you. Because you see, what you tolerate, you indirectly encourage. And here you are talking about, well, nobody knows us, we know us. This is the problem. You are with him, but he's with the whole world. There is no us, only in your head. There's no us. That us is a multitude of baby mamas. And I know how you feel about a particular baby mama. You are so gung-ho about her, you can't stand her. Move your eye from her corner, from her bedside. Because two Baba is sleeping with somebody in Ikeja, in Apapa, in Ikoyi, in Victoria Island. Lekki! <laughs> then he's out of state. He's in Abuja. He's on... Uh, Banana Island. Banana Island! <laughs> Banana Island! 
Solana Island, he has girls there. Annie, this is a situation that you are going to sit and control. Is it the money? He will give you money. you got kids. Is it the lifestyle? You know what? That won't change. But you being married to two Baba is the worst thing that has ever happened to your life. Because where you think you got the ring, you have also inherited the headache of which the other baby mamas do not. They're just sitting down there eating their salad. You know, the other baby mamas are like, ah, let's just go and find her and be friends with, 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 the, with the accountant, with the banker. <laughs> just to stress you even more. You are sliding down a slippery slope of hell. This is a losing battle. You know, in Africa, there's another thing also. To have sons is a big thing. Annie had girls. And that's a beautiful thing. But, you know, you have that old African mindset. Where are the sons? He has sons with the other baby mamas. Annie, you are beautiful. You are young. Stop crying. Stop going, oh my God, this is what Tubaba did. You did it on Young Famous and African right there at the party crying. Uh, somebody with her five children, this, that, and the other thing. You cannot inherit his carelessness. Can you imagine? Just think about this. Just think about this, Annie, before I leave you be. He got naked without a condom with another woman and he was kissing on her, he was rubbing on her, he was enjoying himself, not one moment, he can't, because I'm, I'm sure he had a happy ending. He didn't think of you, he didn't think of the kids, he didn't think of your home, he did not think of the disease that he might have brought and given to you. And you're sitting down there, your pathetic self, and saying that it's just us. Stop being stupid. I'm going to give it to you straight. Stop being stupid. Uh, what does he call himself? Uh, swanky. Where's Swanky? Swanky, tell your friend. Leave to Baba. Love him for a distance. Love him for all the things that he could not be. And love him for who he is. Truly love him for the cheating dog that he is. And be grateful for your children and move the hell on. Nobody deserves this. We can talk about you from here to Jericho, but in actual fact, you're in the driver's seat, you have the keys, there's the gas in the tank, and you are the one that can drive up out that gate through the gate man, through Alaji, and say you're not coming back. It's only you. And if you're not prepared to do it, then be prepared to have more children and deal with more baby mamas. That's what it is. Darlings, I gotta go. Ula's taking me out for lunch. <laughs> We're having some together time. Okay, I'll see you all later. Let me know. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, share. Give it to Annie, give it to Two Face, give it to the new baby mama. You ain't right. You ain't right, baby mama. You didn't have to do that. But hey, I get it. You're tired of these streets. <laughs> Let me take my child and go before I get too old. I get it. I get it. I, I, I'm a relationship guru. I get it. Let them know and... Uh, I will see you all very soon. All of my love, my darlings. Annie, I love you. I really do. Mwah.